Hey, hey everyone, Greenbeard here. Welcome back to another MLB 9 Innings 23 video on my channel. Today we are back with the Twins team. And uh, before we get into the meat of the video, first and foremost, I'm going to hop back in time. Uh, I'll open the SIG pack from the club store for the month of February. And then we'll hop into double mileage. So um, with the recent update, we can buy SIG packs now from the club store once a month, I believe. So we have this one SIG pack here, a ways off from a mileage SIG, and that's probably going to stay that way, given that mileage is now only available from uh, stars, from spending stars, since it's no longer in the free agent market. They made up for it by putting SIG packs in the club store. So we'll cross our fingers here. We only have one other SIG in our backup, so we won't be able to do a SIG combo. So let's just hope uh, we can pull a twin. Would be really lovely. Ah, uh, nope. That's okay. Um, maybe next time. Alrighty, so we have a few vintage combos to do for double mileage on this team, on the Twins team here. Um, and with this team, I actually really could use a Legend Batter. A little more so than the Phillies team, so I'm crossing my fingers. We could potentially pull one and if we can pull a diamond from the three gold combo we're about to do we can do a three diamond vintage combo uh but we did not oh well we will have to wait um if i can get another vintage pack before um Double mileage ends, then we can open that and at least do one more combo. Probably not the diamond combo, but if uh, I'll see what I can do. All right, so as you can see, I got um, one more premium vintage pack. This was from, I think it was the club store. I think I forgot to purchase it this week. I believe that's what it was. So we'll open this, and then we will have probably one final combo for double mileage. All right, now it's a Wally Joiner. And our last shot for double mileage this month. Legend, legend, legend. No, we, are, we pulled a, I believe, silver Robin out earlier. And uh, now we pull him in gold. And uh, looks like we'll have to hang on just a little bit longer. See if we can pull a legend in uh, the next one. Alrighty, so before we hop in to the blues and greens the new pack that's that's on sale uh, i want to show you guys a couple things first and foremost we retrained mauer and um because he has this set and honestly i want to try to make this card work while he's in our lineup we decided to retrain him and the goal was to get as much power as possible with uh contact going second and we were able to do just that look at that train um, only 10 to the right side, 24 to power. We've got contact going second. Once, if we take him to Black Diamond, which right now I'm leaning towards taking him BD, he will have 140 contact, 144 power, and 140 eye, which is pretty freaking good. It's it's almost enough to justify having uh, Mauer in my lineup as a first baseman rather than his prime at catcher. And um, with the chance that we could pull uh, a Garver Sig or something along those lines, for now, I think I, my offense needs the most help. And right now, this Mauer card is primed to help out, uh, especially with that skill set. So, um, with that being said, we have this set on Roy Seavers, but I'll show you real quick. In the secondary slot, we were able to roll this triple three set with barrel it up. And since the plan is at some point, ideally, if we can, if the sig change does go on sale to take him to become a signature, um, I would like to roll a few greens on that set and see if we can get him a good triple three set with BIU. Um, ideally, I don't want to have to use all of these and or all the blues on Roy Seavers. I'd like to be able to use the blues on someone else, but 
we're going to use a couple. If we don't pull anything, we'll get a second one. I don't think I'm going to get all three. I think the max I'll get is two of these packs. And if not, then we'll call it there. But we're going to hold on to barrel it up. All skills will be changed, excluding BIU. That's what we want. And we're going to try to get him a good, doesn't really matter, uh, triple three set with BIU. Not a specialist, unfortunately. One more shot here. And nothing there. So I'll go get one more of these packs. We'll give that a shot. And if not, then we will move on. All right. So three more shots. Show me charisma or slugger or something else. That's not, not laser beam, please. Come on. absolutely nothing and last one last attempt come on charisma slugger spot nothing all right i said screw it i got the final one i really want to get him something and i realize it probably won't never mind there it is okay um all right slugger biu do we have regular blues we have one regular blue we'll use and if not, we'll use those premium blues. Nothing. Okay. Premium blues. We'll use maybe two, and then we'll move on to cards we could use elsewhere. I mean, we'll keep that for now. Master Base Thief. Come on, show me charisma, please. Batting Machine, we'll keep that. We'll keep that for now. Um, long term, I'd like to change it, but for now, since uh, we're not quite there with that card yet, um, we'll keep it. Uh, I think, hmm, yeah, I think I want to use a bunch on Sano and try to get him, see if we can get him um, something better than Batting Machine. Uh, he's, he does all right for this team. Um, but if we could get him Slugger or Spot, I think that would be ideal on this card. Um, Alright, so show me Slugger or Batting Machine. Not Batting Machine. <laughs> show me Slugger or Spotlight. Yes! Yes! Alright. Nice. Nice. Alright. Um... I'm going to have to ask what to do about levels on that. I'll ask my club. My gut is to say leave Slugger at four, but the smart thing to do might actually be to short Pioneer. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to stick with that set regardless because that is a perfect endgame set on him. Um, what do you have? Charisma Slugger full swing. We'll leave that. Do we want to throw one on Mauer? See if we can get him something like Charisma over Full Swing. We'll throw one on Mauer, see what we can do. Uh, no. Okay. Um, Lies. We'll do one more on Mauer, just on the chance. And both of them stink. Okay, so we'll move on. I think we're going to go for one of our pitchers. We're not going to touch Maeda, I think, because I've decided... That I think I'm going to roll for something better than Fireballer on him. Because right now the only way this set would be usable is if we were to roll Finesse Pitcher in the Dominant Pitcher slot. Well, let's take a look at our other pitchers. Because we're going to do it on one of our starters. He has Dom, Slow Starter, Finesse. That's set. We don't need to touch that at all. You, Marichelle, have Slow Starter Fin Mess. So potentially could look to change Mess. Control Master Boss Mess. Same with Bly Levin there. Control a uh, Slow Starter Finesse Mess. So what would be better than Mess on this card? Um, boss Dominant Pitcher. So let's throw 
two on Marichal here. If we don't get anything, we'll throw one on Blylevin. Um, and again, the reason I'm okay doing this is because if we don't get anything, we can keep Mass, which is a nice function they probably should have had from the beginning. But we keep Mass. We'll throw one more on here, and then we'll sh throw one shot at Blylevin. Dominant pitcher. All right. That it will be better. For sure will be better. Um, all right. And we'll go to Blylevin. See if we can get him finesse. Finesse pitcher would be lovely on him. Come on. Ah, put away pitch. No. Okay. Well, that was still an incredibly, incredibly awesome, awesome day. We'll swap over to his new set. We'll lock it up for now. Slugger. Batting machine. Barrel it up. He doesn't hit bat, uh, barrel it up right now, but um, batting machine barrel it up together. Um, along with Slugger, he should do better. Um, we've got Sano, a endgame perfect set. And we've got the same set, believe it or not, on Fergie and Marichelle now. Um, both of them are trained in finesse, I believe. Yep, yep. And, uh, yeah, so I honestly, Marichelle will, is, has the better stats, so he will probably be the better card. So I'll probably end up moving him, uh, into my one slot, Fergie to set to two. Fly Levin didn't quite get something, but with these new blues, if they continue to hold that way, we'll keep hunting on something a little better. He deserves something a little better than mess. And uh, we'll keep going from there. But yeah, that that um, should be a nice boost to Roy Seavers there in my lineup. And um, once I figure out which one I want to short, Pioneer or Slugger, we will be set on Sano there. So... That's an awesome day. I'm really happy with that. So um, with that being said, have a nice day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.